Hey, Jeremy. What's up? Jeremy Hall. <laughs> What's up? You're my you're my favorite jock fetish fantasy oh, yeah? thing. Thank you. Okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> okay, you know, and I mean, I used to play hockey in high school, and me and my buds used to go jerk off after practice, and I was always about the the sports gear and all that, and. Um, that's why I really like your site, because you look like all those jocks in college that I used to whack off thinking about. <laughs> so, which I know sounds like a really creepy thing to say, but um, I'm saying it anyway. It's all good. But <laughs> that's kind of your whole, but, but the thing is, is that it's, with you, it's you're not a poser, like you actually are a, a jock. Well, I don't, I, I'm not going to label myself a jock. Uh, I just did. So. But, okay, sure. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I played some sports in high school and, and, and uh, I've always been an athletic. I've always been athletic, but it was just something that I've always been into, um, right. and it was something that was kind of behind me, my sexuality as I was growing up in my adolescence, because I played a lot of hockey. <clears throat> I had several incidents growing up where I think that kind of put me on my path to, you know, being a homo, so. Um, Do you think so? I think so, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you, sex, you, your sex, sexuality is very, is very complex, and uh, you know nobody's straight, nobody's gay. Uh, we're all just kind of in this variation, and we all just kind of, as we go through life, we work our way into, you know, our sexual preference. So, I mean, I'm I'm kind of bisexual, but I've worked myself into, I think, my preference, which is guys now. But right. and I think it it was rooted from, um, being on a hockey team growing up. It was rooted from slapping guys on the ass in the shower and in the locker room. So My favorite think, moment was after you win a game and we would all stand around in the locker room wearing our jock straps drinking beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, that was always really hot. And then checking the other guys out in the shower, uh -huh. always really fun. And I used to really like it when one of the guys would leave his jock strap and I'd pick it up and sniff it. Uh -huh. Did you ever do that? Of course I've done that. Do <laughs> you know who you're talking to? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just making sure. I just, you know, because... Uh, this is this is uh, confession hour, but now you turn this into uh, a, a porn site, Jeremy Hall Club, Jeremy Hall. Club I want to get that Hall. right, yeah. which is basically you living out everybody else's jock sports gear fetish for well, them. Well, it has kind of it's it's kind of like developed and evolved, and it started out where it was fantasies played out where guys you know were in like a locker room or something or a shower and we we're pretending to be jocks and then I think I kind of like realized that I didn't really like the whole I, I, I like the I like I, I, I like the whole candid thing more than the uh, pretend you know? right so basically now it, it's it's just basically you know I find a hot guy and we, we throw on some hot shit like some hot jock straps and, and maybe, you know, some other cute little outfit or something, and then, you know, we fuck with that on, you know, so I think it's hot. Which is uh, fun. Yeah, so. What's your favorite gear? Soccer shit. I love, like, <laughs> Okay, no, I'm with you. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Soccer shorts, I fucking think the soccer shorts are the hottest. hottest See, thing. and I'm probably more of a hockey football guy because I like all the padding and all the yeah. I mean, all the protective hot. gear. Problem with padding is, you, like, you can't do, you can't do a, a hockey sex scene with hockey pads on because it covers everything. Yeah, I've done it, but it just like it just covers everything. And, and I mean, the football pads are hot, and I've certainly had my share of sex with football pads, but um, but they're it's a little restraining. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Yes, that's ads, sure. that's fair. I mean, the restraining <laughs> thing is, good, but I, I I I get that. So how how okay? First, uh, how's the site going? Are you are you happy with it? Yeah. No. I I'm I'm, I'm very happy with it. It is. It has come a long way, and it's been very challenging. Um, and you know, I was for the longest time. I, I you know I wasn't doing regular updates, and I had to you know, and then I went into an update every two weeks. But you know, for good. Nine months now, I've been updating once a week, and I'm, it's going to stay that way. You know? Good. And and uh, I've under, I understand a lot more about the business now and how to run a run a proper pay site, and I'm still learning and I'm still developing it. Um, 
So it's uh, it's coming a long way, and I'm launching another site now. I'm going to production in two weeks. And what's that? <clears throat> it's a reality uh, a site of, of fratern uh, it's fraternity reality gang bang orgy site. Basically, it's going to have Hot. these frat guys in a, in a frat house, and it's all three ways, four ways, five ways gang bangs. Um, it's very amateur. Um, they're all going to make. They're basically. The, the, the models themselves are, are operating the cameras themselves and, and, and making the videos themselves so that's a that's a big huge trend right now and and Hayes hymns has been doing that and I was doing that stuff with frat pad yeah. you know three or four years I'm not trying to you say I invented it. that you invented well it. I I have been credited with that, but I don't know if that's necessarily fair. I certainly, I, I you pioneered it. I maybe <laughs> I I brought it to XTube and made it. Um, oh, I don't know. I'll I'll let you ring my bell there. But, okay, <laughs> but actually, you touched on something else there, which is kind of cool. Oh wow, you you hurt your toenail. I did. Wow. Did you do that playing hockey or soccer? No. Didn't no. you? Okay. Oh well. That's too bad. That you should have said that. Oh yeah, job. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Just... Okay. Anyway, so finally, you are one of those guys who's you're in front of the camera, but you own the company and you're running the whole show. And I mean, I work for one of those guys, is Jake Cruz. But there's not a lot of those guys. Usually, you know, your Tommy D's and Cody Cummings's and all that. They're they're performers. They definitely have a big hand in production, but they're not the owner of the thing and they're not the captain of the ship, really. And, and you are, so you've got to do it all. Right. Well, I mean, hey, you know, you, you can't be good at, it, at everything. And, I mean, people like Tommy D and Cody Cummings, you know, they got a lot. They actually have a lot on their plate. They got to look beautiful all the time. And, and you know, and, and I mean, that's not easy. No. It's no. not easy. Oh, I'm so. not saying that what they're doing is easy. I'm right. just saying that you're, <laughs> you're the guy who's, like, you're it's, it's right. you're the make it or break it guy. Right. You you have no one else to rely it's, on. I mean, there's the, the, the you know, the, there's there's the some pros and cons to it to it and uh, you know I'm very spread out in terms of what I do and, and and you know I do I pretty much do almost everything so um, but I learn a lot you know yes yeah. is, is you know I it, spreading yourself out that wide you know you definitely overlook things and you definitely make mistakes and but I think the plus side of it is that you learn you learn everything there is to know so cool. I think ultimately in, a, in the long term I think it's a better way to go to and, do everything yourself <laughs> and f no it is it is it really and I've learned that doing my blog as well as doing doing stuff with Coxer and Jake um, my final question uh, are we gonna see you bottom more often or are you just gonna no. go back to beat no you because you did it once on camera I did twice twice okay and um, I'm just not a bottom I just don't okay. enjoy it I mean no, if I'm get, with if you. I get I'm with like you. really, really, really drunk or something, then, and, and I'm with the right kind of guy, then maybe I'll bought him. But just for the record, <laughs> after this, I'm buying the beer. All right. <laughs> but um, but it's it's just not happening on, on set. I mean. All right. It's Fair not enough. I mean, yeah. No, hey, you you know what? You gave it the I old like college try. Like, yeah. I like, yeah. I like, no, I'm I'm with you. I think top. you and me are confirmed tops. And, <laughs> You know, there's some confirmed tops out there. Bodine's a confirmed top. So, all right, Jeremy, thanks so much. Thanks it's so. great to, it's great to uh, sit down and chat with you, and we'll uh, we'll see you out there again. Have a good one.